date, most of our research has actually been focused in this very early time window. And we've had some really good progress. But now it's really time for us to start thinking about recovery, which goes on for weeks and months and years. We have to start turning our attention into this space. And I started 25 years ago in stroke. We thought the brain, once damaged, couldn't change. So our treatments were fairly pessimistic. Now we know the brain can change and our treatments are more optimistic. But what we've seen in recovery is really incremental and very slow progress. So what I think we need to do now is we really need to reach for the stars. We have to aim for brain repair and we have to aim for recovery. We've spent a lot of time teaching people to compensate for their loss. But unless we have a much higher ambition, we're really not going to change this space. My idea is to work to develop this collaborative international network of people who are really interested in looking at brain repair. By having the international collaborations, we can start to accelerate recovery um, treatments and lead to improved outcomes for our patients. This year, we held our first round table where 60 experts came together and agreed to set new standards for how we do our research. And that's just the starting point. We've got ideas around how we have to change how we do the things that we do. And that's what's going to be necessary to lead to this step change. The first thing that has to change is that we really have to work much more closely together. We have to build more connections between hospitals and research labs, including our preclinical. And we have to develop big recovery data which we don't have now. And that's going to take investment of time and money. Second thing that has to change is that we must start working and delivering our treatments and our research in the recovery window. We do know from preclinical research and from human research that there is a window when the brain is most able to change. And that's early. Yet a lot of our research is out here. We also have to start thinking about combining treatments, so multimodal treatments. But at the moment, that is very discoordinated and we don't have a logical pipeline for our research. We do have promising things happening to open the window again later with stem cells and plasticity enhancers, so we don't neglect that. We also have to start developing clinical centres of excellence. Here, most of our treatments are not delivered in the optimal way, so we need research, we need centres where they do deliver at the right dose and that could be our translation pipeline for research. And also, it should be done in hospitals built for recovery. Stroke is not one disease, but for years we've treated recovery like it's the same for every person. What we need now is to accelerate that. We've got to work at a scale where we can start to look at who are the people we need to treat, when and with what. And we're a long way for doing that right now. Our current obstacles are that we work in silos. And we don't have the big recovery data we need until we build these bridges between the different centres and across countries. Our acceleration and our recovery and repair dream is just a dream. I'm inspired by what we've seen in acute stroke. We can cure and improve. I'm also inspired to see in other complex diseases like traumatic brain injury, initiatives where people are coming together to do exactly the same thing. These diseases are complex and until we start working in this collaborative framework, we will not progress. I'm also excited by our first steps in coming together and by the fact that we've got discoveries that if we can build on them, will lead to a real leap in our understanding of the brain after stroke and accelerate repair. And that will give hope to one in six people who have a stroke every year. So my question to this group is, how do we build that kind of collaboration? And how do we change the dialogue from being one of compensation to one of repair and hope for cure? And I think this is what we have to do to change this landscape. Thank you.